Hello, legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. A lot of you are asking, how do I make some extra gold coin as a new player? Well, here is one special way. That is to do the hidden boss for Cultivation Dungeon. Now, you, you guys are about level 89, right? All right, so a lot of you are, who are asking are at level 89. There will be a new Cultivation Dungeon coming out. It is the Ethereal Abode for level 99. So today I'm going to show you how to get yellow gears. This will not only make yourself stronger, if you get yellow gears that you can't use, you can sell it and you can make some nice gold coins. Or if you want to, if you get some nice yellow gears, even if you can use it, you can sell it and just use purple gears until the yellow gears drop in value. When a new dungeon comes out, when the level cap comes out, the new yellow gears sell for double triple the price of how much they are in just a few weeks so depending on how strong you are if you are strong enough for dungeons you may be able to sell all the yellow gear that you get from the hidden boss because when you do a hidden boss it is guaranteed a yellow gear now if we are doing ethereal abode level 99 you are going to need each player is going to need two solar stones and two lunar stones okay two solar stones and two lunar stones or or the party leader can create a radiant stone from five solar and five lunar stones so it is cheaper since your party is six people one way to do this easier is if you have a party if you have five other friends and each person collect or or they can actually buy them off the stall and actually every single person they all have radiant stones so either the party leader needs two radiant stones or every person in the party has two lunar stones and two solar stones so if it's if it's everyone having lunar and solar stones it will actually cost 12 all right so it's a little more expensive however if you do have friends do take turns like you can you can run two of these hidden bosses each day so one of your friends and you can run using those radiant stones instead of the solar and lunar stones this will save your party Two solar and two lunar stones it's a little bit more complicated and you have to and you have to trust your friend that they will use their radiant stone and that they will not ditch you because you cannot do all the runs in one day one thing about hidden boss you can only do the hidden boss twice in the same day if you re-enter even if you have cultivation tickets even if you have extra runs it will just eat your solar stones it will just eat your lunar stones and you will not get another yellow gear so be sure not to run more than two hidden bosses in a day all right uh, so briefly about the the either fairy the either fairy actually uh it does it does summon lotuses when it summon lotuses you have to kill the lotus don't attack the either fairy or you'll die from reflect also, somebody will get Corona, and you have to do some social distancing. Don't get close to the person with Corona, or it will burn you. When someone gets Singe, you have to dispel that. The cleric will have to click to the right of that person's name, click on Dispel, or they will burn to death. And if you get Singe, you, you got a Chi Burst. You got a Chi Burst so that your cleric can heal you, can dispel you. All right, so it's. All right, so you see how these lines are attached to the nature loads? You gotta kill those fast. Also, when the phoenixes spawn, they will chase you and they will explode in 15 seconds. Stay away from the phoenixes. Somebody in the party can count down 
for 15 seconds. When the phoenixes start showing up, you can start counting down and then uh, let everybody know when the phoenixes are going to blow up. All right, so after you kill the Ether Fairy, you're going to have a choice to go to the final boss or the hidden boss. Now, if you want to do the hidden boss, choose the option on the left and go to the demon the demon holder or something. Let me, let's see what he's called. All right, so the Sun Devourer. Let's see what he's called. All right, here's the portal. You speak to it. Demon Restrainer. All right, so the leader, the leader of the party will come down. All right, so I'm doing, I'm doing the higher level. This is Ascent of 119, and we have Illusion Shards. You will see the same screen for the level 99, except it will say two solar, two lunar stones. In the 119 ascended, it is six illusion stones. You can make one illusion stone from eight solar or eight lunar stones. So these solar and lunar stones don't lose value. So this is important to remember, even later on, after you've been in level 99 for a while and you're preparing for 109 and 119 you want to hold on to your stones you don't really if they're cheap you might even want to buy some stones from the stall so just to prepare okay buy some stones buy some lunar and solar stones just to prepare for the 109 and 119 cultivation dungeons which also have hidden bosses so you can stack up and just collect some extra if if the hidden stones if the if the solar and lunar stones get cheaper once everybody has yellow gears you might just want to buy buy some extra ones so when the level cap goes up you'll have extra runs and you'll be able to get extra yellow gears to sell now there is one important thing is after ascend once you get to level 119 you want to make sure to use all of your radiance stones so if you ever make a radiance stone after 119 after you ascend the new dungeons the ascended dungeons do not use radiant stones if you have solar or lunar stones the ascended dungeons you can still take eight of the solar stones turn it into an illusion stone okay however the radiant stone can never be used in the ascended dungeons so if you if you combine and make a radiant stone be sure to use it before you are you get to ascend it which is past 119 all right so this boss has has one really big attack called the uh, slayer sage hammer that attack you will want to chi burst or run away later on he summons tridents which you want to want to attack and kill sometimes he summons fire tornadoes which you just have to run away well see there you go I got my yellow gear which I'm gonna sell and uh, I hope everyone knows how to make a ton of gold now and do your hidden bosses if you like this video please like subscribe smash that notification bell and comment below to be entered to win a 25 dollars itunes or google play gift card on october 15 2020 i'll see you guys in the next video